Let's play a game real quick. So behind me, I have two Aaron Judge Yankees jerseys. One is an officially licensed Nike replica, which is the base model you'll see on most retail stores. And one is a cheap knockoff. Can you tell which one is which? And right here, we got the front side of the jerseys. If you thought the jersey right here was the Nike replica, the official licensed version, unfortunately, you are incorrect. So the Nike replica is this one right here. I know how difficult it is, especially when you're shopping online. You're looking at a couple pictures from far away and you're not quite sure like, is it legit? Is it not? Especially for my beginning collectors. So my objective in this video is to help show people how to spot a fake or knockoff Nike jersey. This video is gonna be catered towards my beginning collectors just because sometimes you'll see the fake ones circulating online and it is priced just like retail prices. So I'd rather people learn and kind of get an idea of what to look out for so they don't get scammed into paying a retail price for the knockoff version. And I know it's gonna be in the comments. Someone's gonna tell me the fake version is better than the Nike replica. That's fine. If you wanna collect the fake ones, you do you. This video is not for you. This is gonna be catered towards people who wanna collect the legit versions and it's gonna hold its value in the future. So before we get started, if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when I drop new videos and yada, 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 you don't miss out. Let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is the MLB logo. So on the Nike replica, the officially licensed version, you can see it's actually stitched down onto the jersey. And right here, it has like a fabric material. It's like, it kind of feels like felt, maybe a little, a little softer than felt, but it has a fabric material here. On the knockoff version here, it's actually all plastics. And so I've seen this throughout the last couple of years. They just use the same MLB logo. It's plastic and it's also stitched down as well, but a fake one will have the plastic one. And while we're talking about the MLB logo, so this is on the fake version, you can see plastic. The colors are really dull. It just feels flimsy and like a cheap piece of plastic. But if you're familiar with the MLB authentic version, they also use a plastic version, but you can see there's some sheen to it, some colors that are like reflective in the light. It's a little hard to tell, especially to the untrained eye, but they do try to emulate this MLB authentic. So looking at the MLB logo is not always gonna be like a 100% indicator, but it should draw some red flags. The next thing we're gonna take a look at is the lettering and numbering. So on the Nike replica ones, it looks like it has stitching, you can see here. It looks like it, but it's actually heat pressed. So it just kind of gives you a design that makes it look like it's stitched. On the back side, kind of the same thing as well. So it looks like it's stitched, but it's actually not. So this is all heat pressed, very smooth. And then on the fake versions, it's actually stitched down. And then you can see a little tied stitching, but it's actually stitched. And when you, Take a look at it actually. The colors are a little off, so it's a red flag. So the Yankees usually have this darker navy. If you look at the knockoff versions, they don't always get the colors right. You can see right here, it's kind of like a lighter navy. Just a little detail to kind of look out for when you're looking at the fakes and the legit ones. Next, we're gonna take a look at the logo. So on the Nike replica versions, you can see right here, it's heat pressed, but it actually has stitching on the edges of this logo. So it's not actually stitched onto the jersey. It's like faux stitching. So it kind of, as you would say, not really stitched down. Because when you actually flip it inside out, you don't see any stitching. But on the fake versions, they're always gonna be stitched. You can see here, a little sloppy stitching. That could cause the unraveling. That's the issue with uh, these fake ones. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Nike Swoosh. So on the Nike replica, 
you can see it's heat pressed nice and clean so that's a common theme on the replicas on the fake versions and knockoffs it actually tries to copy the authentic on field version swoosh so they embroider it down so just a heads up next i'm going to go show you another red flag to spot a fake version so on the nike replica you can see the neck label area genuine merchandise large it just gives you information and this is heat pressed it's like a it's a very thin material and then you also have it here on the jock tag so if you look at it also heat pressed very thin material and it's silver down here so on the fake versions it's easily able to be replicated you can see if you do it side by side there's like a little font difference but for most people you can't really tell so this one here it kind of has a different color a little wrong color here it's like very blue very red if you look at the legit version it's darker but they're both really thin this tends to be super thin it feels like a sticker on there but that should be another red flag if you put it side by side you can tell like there's a little font difference A good way to spot a fake is the placement of the retail tags. So on legit genuine Nike products, you can see here, there's a little tag right underneath the collar. It's like an extra piece of fabric where they install this like, what is this? I forgot this tag. So it hangs off of it, right? So when you pull it out, it won't ruin the fabric. On the fake versions, they just hang it anywhere. But this could be easily replicated, so this can be put up here, but the legit ones will have that extra fabric and the fake ones won't. This one's a really good way in spawning a fake jersey is finding the wash tag. So on the Nike replica, anything made from Nike, they will have these like wash tags, little information, inspection tags, if they're brand new, like it's a sticker so those stickers will come off if it's like pre-owned and just washed but pretty much just gives you a lot of wash information on any knockoff they won't have it nothing in that area nothing in this area so on the legit nike stuff they'll have wash tags on the fake ones they won't and the easiest way to spot a fake Nike jersey, especially when shopping online, is to tell the seller, hey, can you take a picture of the jersey inside out? So looking at the Nike replica, since it's, you know, heat pressed, you don't see any stitching, right? Very smooth. On these stitch versions on the fake ones, you can see here the paper material and it's like very sloppy. Like they didn't even tear off everything. The stitching is still connected. Like all of the stitching is connected. Like it runs all the way through. You see, it just looks really sloppy. The craftsmanship, that's a really good indicator on how to spot a fake. So we'll flip out this way. Look at this. When it starts looking like that and it's super sloppy, it's a pretty good indicator. I mean, look at this. This is a Nike Authentic. This is an on-field. It's like nice and clean. The stitching is crisp. None of that extra mess. It just looks nice. See? Garbage. And that's pretty much it. So, first off, I want to thank you guys for watching. And hopefully you could take something out of it and learn a little something. Especially for my rookie collectors. But... If you're still kind of iffy on it and want a second pair of eyes, I don't mind helping. If you DM me on Instagram, Facebook, um, I have an email as well. Shoot me a message, shoot me the link, shoot me some pictures, and I'll just help kind of just further confirm if it's legit or not. And if I run into trouble, I could always ask around for you. And uh, yeah, but mostly with these Nike jerseys, I'm a little more versed in it. These older runs, I could get a little spotty on it. I wasn't collecting too much back in the day, so. Yeah, thanks again for watching guys and on to the next video. Ooh.